And time has come for the final piece in our jigsaw. The last couple of terms we need to clarify before the end of lecture one, introduction to research. Method and methodology. People use them interchangeably as if they refer to the same thing and they absolutely don't. What is expected of you is to understand the difference between the two and know which one you're referring to in either your research proposal or your dissertation. Dissertation. So we'll start with the method and then we'll go into methodology. What is method? The approach used to conduct your research. Methods refer to techniques used in performing research operations. The techniques used to develop or test theory. They are processes applied through the course of studying a research problem. They are instruments and behavior used throughout all stages of your research process. It includes making observations, recording data, processing that data, making inferences, reaching conclusions, and finally reflecting on implications of the findings. They belong to three categories. One is data collection, then data analysis, and finally data evaluation. This is a diagram depicting the number of methods out there. As you can see, not a simple straightforward list. The methods out there are ever growing in number. In this course, you will be encountering experiments, questionnaires, official statistics, interviews, observation, and case studies. What is methodology? It is the science of studying how research is done systematically. It is the systematic theoretical analysis of the methods, the overall framework of philosophical assumptions and practical methods through which one chooses to conduct his or her research. It is a way to systematically and rigorously approach a research problem so that your conclusions are valid, reliable and credible. Simply put, if it wasn't for methodology and if you were to use whatever method of data collection, analysis and evaluation you wished, that, that puzzle of methods you will end up with may or may not look cohesive, may or may not look as part of the same project, underpinned by the same principles. It is the methodology that holds everything together. The research methods are therefore the processes through which you conduct research, whereas the research methodology explains the use of those, of those processes. And if research methods involve the conduct of experiments, surveys, interviews and so on, the research methodology involves the analysis and learning of those techniques. If research methods aim at finding answers to your questions, the research methodology aims at understanding and employment of the correct procedures to find credible answers to those questions. In a nutshell, if theory is an attempt to explain and understand the phenomenon of interest, giving a working tentative interpretation of the phenomenon observed, and if a theory is arrived at through the help of research, a process through which those explanations are derived, then the method or the methods are the tools through which research is being undertaken, through which we explore the nature of the world around us. And the methodology is the overall framework that explains, justifies the use of some methods and not others in order to derive those theories.